Ladies and gentlemen, everything in between, hello, welcome to the channel. Now on the community tab, I asked you guys what content you want to see this week, and unanimously, you basically decided England versus Hungary. Now, I am actually kind of confused, because didn't we just finish Euro 2020? So why all of a sudden now are we doing like more football stuff? When does the season end? Seriously though, because how can you play sports all year? Your body will begin to deteriorate. I'm sure it's like crazy on their mental too, with all the freaking fans and all the chants and all the crazy stuff going on. So I don't know, but we're playing Hungry for some reason, England versus uh, Hungry, let's get into it. Subscribe to me, like the video, do all that. You can see the new setup, we are changing things up, life is crazy. Check out the community tab if you don't know what I'm talking about. But enough yabbering, like the video, let's get into it. Yay. I guess that England is going to beat Hungary. 3-2, three 3-1 to, three to or 3-2. to two. Yeah. I've never seen Hungry play though, so. An atmosphere which sounds like it's going to be very light. COVID. It's time heals. Well, there hasn't been too much of that between the now. That reminds me of like boxing matches. You know how they make the freaking people touch gloves and shit? Like that's what underneath the tunnel. It's time heals. Well, there hasn't All been teams. too much of that between the now. After the national anthems. Of God sake. The Queen. Sterling! Or Kane! I mean. A lot of freaking people! And not a mask in sight! None of my business. Oh no. Ooh! How are y'all's cases over in Europe? Because they're bad here, so I can't even imagine this. The three in qualifying so far. Looks fun, though. To do tomorrow. All right, so That's England is blue. Losing out to Klein Heisler. Did he trip him? Trying to wrestle with John Stones, who's playing his first game since the European Ah, is that a yellow card or whatever? He did, like, hip bust him, you know? I look crusty and dusty. This mount's going for an early opportunity. What is that? Sterling didn't quite catch it right. Play when they get oh, going. Oh, Sterling. You heard Emma Hayes speak about it in the build-up to the game. Number two! He didn't even try. He didn't even attempt to save the ball. But you heard Emma Hayes speak about it in the build-up Oh, build he just game. lost so it. Which just opens up the other side of the pitch. It's not looking good, finish. England. <laughs> Why'd he jump over it? Ah, ah. Hungary was there. Usually that's a straight shot for England. Oh. Why are they always booing the crowd? Ah! Oh! Ooh! Ah, get it out of there. Yeah. Right now it looks to me... Oh. Okay, it looks like right now Hungary is just outworking England, I would say. Like, it's almost like they want it more. I feel like England has more skill, more talent, but it's the drive that Hungary has that is keeping them so far, like, in it. If right now, just from what I would see, I would I would expect Hungary to win the game. But I got my money on England still, so let's keep watching. Like First of all, Maguire, buddy, I love you, but you can't do that. You can't put your whole forearm on somebody's shoulder. Injury. This ain't rugby. This ain't rugby. Sterling trying to get behind Fiola. Come on, Sterling. Goes across to help out. Oh, oh. And Hungary threatening to if he gets injured, they're screwed. And Rice quickly gets the return. Sterling might Rice be is the hot. Center. Here's Harry Kane on the edge of the box. Oh, that's not like Kane. For the first time here with Roland Schonai. Messi would have made the shot. Sterling. Moment to Kyle Walker. Will be here in England. Seems for interval. What what language do they speak in Hungary? Sounded like a mix of German and French, with a little spice of Russian too. What do they speak in Hungary? Let me know. Nesta iniciação Sessão. de estes de muito futebol de seleções aqui. That's French. Sessão, Sessão French. Mantendo o zero zero entre zero. Hungria e. Isn't this the guy who? Actually, I think he was the one who was clutch in the Euro 2020. I'm pretty sure. I don't. There was one that like messed up the penalty completely and then there was one who like came in clutch during the game and he's like 20 years old so shout out to him number 11 
All the cultures over in uh, Europe. Do, do central e capital. A seleção de Inglaterra, hoje a jogar em casa, se conseguir fazer, uh, ultra do lado esquerdo da Inglaterra, ou seja, por fora do Clan Isla. Super Leaves. That wasn't even close. Recebe novamente o the... lateral esquerdo oh! do Man United. He ran him down like a dog. Recebe novamente o lateral esquerdo do Man United. Uh -uh. Vai ser derrubado, leva aquele toque, o árbitro no Leeds livre. But then again, I think that was a bit of fumble. Homie exaggerated a little bit. He was all over him, but you see how he like crucified himself. And United vai ser derrubado, leva aquele toque, o árbitro no Leeds livre. Para Inglaterra na segunda parte. Physical. Cobrança. Passe de Walker é para Harry Kane. Kane, 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 Kane. Aí está, não, a bola não entra. A defesa ainda de Pedro Pocci. Shout out to Hungary's goalie. Agora com passadeira para a equipa de Southgate. Poder fora de jogo com 5 elementos é que basta um daqueles 5. Falhar as 3 jornadas, venceu São Marino por 5 a 0. Wait a damn minute. Ok, we just had half time and the score is still 0 to 0. So, does that mean that the, the talent was like equally matched? Or just that... Defense for your uh, hungry was good. I would give the credit to the goalie, I guess. He's like using his entire body getting bruised up. But yeah, an hour in and still zero to zero. Min casa. Min casa. Come oh his nuts. Rice? They gave Rice a yellow card for that? That's that's BS. They were both clearly going for the ball together. Yeah, that's not a yellow card. It's not his fault he got teabagged. Google it if you don't know what that means. If I haven't made it clear, Sterling, you're a god. Shout out to Sterling. He was a little top, a little tip in, tap it in. Simple and easy. Ooh. Love for what? What's your shirt say? Love you forever, street. No. Love. I can't read it. It says something about love and stuff. Love. What's the shirt say? Let me know. It's that freaking haircut, Grillish. That's why you fell. But going back to this person's vest, was that a shout out to nurses? I think it. Oh, no, it's not. I thought that was a stethoscope, but I think it's just a football jersey. Anyways, continuing. Shout out to the NHS. Who's been in control of the game so far, you think? Ooh. If y'all are giving out yellow cards, that would be a time. Sterling. That's a yellow card too, bitch. A lot of these plays, they're not even really going for the ball hungry. It's more so they just, they're throwing their body at England and hoping that they get the ball too. You know, the ball is like second hand to them. They just want to stop England. So yellow cards, where are they? You're throwing them at England, referees. Throw them for Hungary. You know what? I was about to say. Exactly. I was literally about to say, just get the ball to Sterling and let him do what he does, which is make goals, like a straight shot. And he just did. He got an assist, but give the ball to Sterling and you know you're always going to be taken care of every time. Goal! Harry Kane with the dive. Goldie had no. He didn't even know what's going on. Sterling. Sterling. What the fuck? Hold on. I got a new uh, software. Oh, it's. I'm tripping. It's not even there. It's just on the camera. Okay, continuing then. My bad. Cabalacci! Head butted in! Number six! Maguire! Good job, buddy. They make it look easy. He does got a big head, though. Maybe it's just a lot of hair. Maybe his hair is just very full. 
You know, let's not judge. But his poor mother. <sighs> that would hurt. A fazer golo com o cabeceamento Harry Maguire já tinha igual Henry Maguire. Oh, are these the stats? Croatia. Re oh, I don't know what this is. Okay, but what was the final score? I said it was gonna ooh, three zero. I was saying it was gonna be three to two or three to one. So it was a blowout. Yeah, England wrecked Hungary. Unfortunately for them. Ah, man. It's just like, England's team is very, very talented, so I don't even know who would kick them out of the qualifications for the World Cup. I think they're going to go all the way. I think it may even come home. Now, I know I sound like a clown because we just had Euro 2020 and it didn't come home, but you know what? I think but the World Cup, it might have a chance to. Shout out to Italy. That was a good game, but let's see what happens now. Subscribe if you need to like the video, do all that, and I'll see you on the next one.